Hey guys, welcome back to In Transit. It's Nakasi here. And first of all, I'd like to say a big happy independence to Barbados. It's 51 years today. And I wish, <laughs> I almost said I wish nothing but the best. I mean, it is a birthday, so you do say that. But uh, I wish nothing but growth for Barbados and for everyone who lives there. So yeah, today is going to be full independence video. So like, I will be talking about like different building facts and um, like different things that the agents like to say and stuff like that. So yeah. So first I'm gonna start with personal things to me. So like what's my favorite soca song? Well Bajan soca song, my favorite Bajan food, that kind of stuff. So right now my favorite Bajan soca song is Give It To You by Marzo. Like this, <laughs> I don't know why, but that song just makes me so happy. Like I can't hear it, I'm not that so like I really love it. But it's really amazing. So for the non bajans who are watching this, go type in that song, listen to it. I'm sure you love it too because I have the best taste in music. So yeah. <laughs> so the second thing is my favorite Bajan food. Now I always joke around and say that like Bajans don't have like Bajan, there's no, no thing that's really Bajan food. Because, why you say that, before anyone to talk to me, is that Bajans claim a lot of things that are found in other Caribbean islands and I'm always there like, this is not original to y'all if you really think about it. But it's just that like other islands call it by different names or they might be like one ingredient that's different. But it's really, so I feel like because of that, a lot of different islands share lots of foods. So it's not, not anything particular to one island. Um, one, but I see all that to say. My favorite Bajan food, <laughs> or what I love to eat in Barbados, is um, pie, macaroni pie. Like I can live off macaroni pie every day till the day. <laughs> um, also, obviously, Shafat. You can't speak about Bajan food without speaking about Shafat. Obviously, only because not because they serve Bajan food, because they serve fast food, but because it's only sold in Barbados. So, yeah, everybody loves Shafat. I would really like some tenders right now, but you know, I'm in Trinidad, so I can't get that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah. Well, around Independence time. People eat a lot of conkeys. Oh, I want a conkey right now. Like, I'm like, I really want a conkey. Like, I'm just thinking about it and I'm super hungry. Like, I really want, ugh. So, a conkey. I really feel like I should not be the one to talk about what goes into a conkey because I can probably say the wrong things. But I believe that pumpkin goes into it as well as coconut. Um. I don't know, maybe people put cornmeal or not. I know cornmeal goes into cuckoo, but I don't eat cuckoo, so sorry. Anyways, uh, and all I know is that you wrap it in banana leaf, or if you don't have banana leaf, you could do it in foil as well. People also put raisins in it, which is disgusting, so we are not here for donkeys with raisins. <laughs> that, and it's amazing, so that's all you need to know. Uh, also, cassava corn. I love some cassava corn now. Like, I can talk about things that I don't eat, but that Bajans love to eat, like the themselves. I just particularly don't like how it looks, so like I'm never gonna eat it. I have never even tasted it. It's a no from me. It, I, I just, I can't do it. I, I, nope. Don't like how it looks. And then cuckoo and flying fish, which, jeez, yeah, which is a national dish. I was almost like, what? Yeah, which is a national dish. I don't really think pie and chicken should be a national dish because that's the way we don't see. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, so cook one of fish. I don't eat cuckoo. Next, my favorite places in Barbados to go to. Well, first of all, it's only because I'm not in, like, I don't live in Barbados. Well, in the next few years, I won't be living in Barbados. That I realized how much I actually miss the beach. Like, I don't really go that often while I'm there. But like now that I can't see those beaches, is mm -mm. like even just to drive past them, like they're so beautiful. Like I like I like to just look at the the water. Like I, I mean I could swim and all that, but that's um. Mm -mm. <laughs> but in terms of the beach, I really really miss going to the beach. Um, 
I also, like one of my favorite places to drive to is um, the North Point. I feel like it's very beautiful there. And I've been going there since I was very, very young. Like anytime um, someone came in from overseas, and my dad would always be like, okay, let's go for a drive. And we'd always end up there. Um, it's very beautiful. I can probably put some pictures there to show y'all for those who don't know where that is. It's at the north of the island. I actually, actually, there is, we did go to the, um, to North Point in one of our previous YouTube videos. So I'll just put the link below for you to go see that. So if I say that I like to go to Shepard, does that count as <laughs> one of my favorite places to go and where I made it? <laughs> Yeah, I think it does. There are like a million Shafats for that one tiny island. Um, I like to go there. It's nice. They have good food. <laughs> Probably also, maybe Mojo's, only because it's just a bar and a restaurant in Barbados. And it's mainly because there are usually a bunch of people that you haven't seen in like 10 years that are there like every time. So it's a good time to like see see like a bunch of people at once and whatever so like that's a good fight on to Beijing terms so Beijing gets a lot of words that you know are very particular to them <laughs> so the first one is wanna and wanna in a sentence it's like it just refers to like a bunch of people so in a sentence and I usually don't speak Beijing dialect so if it sounds like a mess I'm sorry um Beijing goes to say this I am so sick of wanna Meaning, I'm so sick of these people referring to the, like a particular set of people. So, if you're talking to your friends, I'm so sick of one of if they're like saying that like they're teasing you or something. Also, this is different to I like wanna because one is like I want to do something. So don't mix it the two. Wanna and one is two different things. <laughs> Secondly, they just love to say big man, like big man, you freaky, big man. You see that what just happened? Like things like that, but it really doesn't refer to a man who's particularly big, just to anyone really. <laughs> um, yeah, I that's it. Okay, so this is one word that when like I was growing up, like because my parents wouldn't say my parents are, aren't Asian, so like they're not gonna say the word, and it's just like till they say it makes me feel cringy because I just don't like how the word sounds. But that's boxy, and it really. Ugh, it really refers to a person's butt, but some legends say boxy. I don't like that. Anyway, stoops. <laughs> this is this is not necessarily particular to um, Barbados, but like different islands pronounce it differently. So like Antiguans, I know say chups, but it's not actually saying the word. It's the actual doing of a thing. So it will it will be like. <laughs> I don't realize that like people outside of the Caribbean don't say it when I had to explain it to my boyfriend because he was just like, what is that? And I was just like, what do you mean what is that? Like that's so natural to like most Caribbean person. <laughs> like most Caribbean people. Um, so yeah, stoop saying. And for you who don't know what that is, that is basically like you just do it in reaction to something like usually in reaction to something stupid that someone has said, but it could be seen as rude if you do it to someone in authority or an elder person um but you do it amongst your friends and stuff like that and it wouldn't necessarily be taken as rude in that way so yeah <laughs> but i feel like most Caribbean people do it without even like thinking about the fact that they're doing it like it's just a normal thing um also big rock Bajans, especially if they're getting into fights love to say let me hit you with a big rock like <laughs> because obviously they're not going to find a big rock to hit you with but it's like anything that <laughs> and i feel like i say it too but i'm not I, I don't fight like i don't know what that is <laughs> but i would still say it but it's just like a part of Bajan talk i guess funny things that i think Bajan say all right well one i come in there now now this is usually like if you're supposed to be meeting someone somewhere and they're gonna lie and say yeah i come in there now it's really a lie because what that means is they're probably at home and i'm very very guilty of this i'm like yeah i'm leaving now and like 20 minutes later i'm still in the house i my second one is i don't have a girlfriend <laughs> I don't have a girlfriend and I also have that this is a lie. <laughs>
because mm -mm. I don't want to say major men are good because that's really a generalization. I'm not here trying to paint anyone in a negative light in this independence video. So yeah, but some men will really tell you that. And they have a mean chick, two side chicks, somebody else that they're leading on. And then they're trying to talk to you too, but they don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> so if you're ever in Barbados, <laughs> This is very extreme, but it's also taken from a song. If you're in, in Barbados and someone is like, girl, you sweet, like these sprinkles kind of donut. <laughs> Just means that you look pretty. And they're describing the sweetness of the donut or the sprinkles on the donut to describe you. But I feel like, especially if you listen to Bash Matsuka, they have, they're very creative in, you know, complimenting females. Very, very creative. So the next thing is that we will be discussing uh, it's just like dip, like so it's like a Bajan trivia okay so so there's a common misconception that Barbados is actually made up of just one island but it's actually made up of two um so it's a twin island kind of like Trinidad and Tobago so the two islands that make up Barbados are Barbados the mainland and St. Lucie <laughs> Dumb. I know people like joke around about how St. Lucie is so far that it's basically another island and they need an airport. It's, I feel like it's mad this is but it's so funny. It's funny. It's funny. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so second question. Which secondary school is the best in the island? The answer is pretty obvious, which is Harrison College, where I went to school. But I mean, other Bajans would say other things. I mean, they're obviously wrong, but. <laughs> so it's not QC, it's not Commonwear, it's not SMS. Just Harrison College, okay? <laughs> well, I had I addressed it early, but what is a national dish of Barbados? It's cocoa and flare and fish, but it can also be chaffette, pie and chicken, um, anything like that. But the official one is cocoa and flare and fish. Okay, so. This isn't actually a trivia question, this is just pertaining to me. What do I miss most about Barbados? Lisa Shafat. I just miss... Oh. I miss being able to drive, fam. I don't even, it doesn't even have anything to do with Barbados. I just wish I could, I, I just wish I could drive. To Shafat. <laughs> right, to anywhere because public transportation is not anything easy and I have never walked as much as I've walked since I've been in Trinidad. <sighs> but um, what else do I miss? Well, I already spoke about how I miss the beach. And oh, I, I miss like here. All I do is like see my law friends, and like I just miss. Although most of my friends back home are in law too, they're just in the year below me. Jeez, my life is really just law. It's very sad. But yeah, I just miss there are other people about home obviously that I want to see. So I guess the people. I miss the people the most. And she thought, okay, alright. So thanks for watching so much. I have so many exciting things coming for y'all. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned to my IG. I'll put it down below. Um and my Snapchat I'll post that as well because I do say a lot of stuff on Snapchat. So yeah, but thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and comment down below your favorite foods in Barbados, your favorite places to visit in Barbados if you're a visitor and have come here before, or even if you are Bajan, comment down below what you love most about Barbados and where you like to go in Barbados. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And